Hey everyone, Clockwork here. Welcome back on this push through episode 2 of Telltale's The Walking Dead. So we are at St. John's Dairy, St. John's, St. John Dairy, and last episode I left off uh, looking for a way to get into that back room in the barn. So in this episode we're going to probably do that and see what else this place has in store for us. Let's go. Okay, let's go look around some more. Maybe we can find a screwdriver somewhere. I checked this way? I don't know. It's over here. Just hay bales. Lots of hay bales. Lots of hay. Yep. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Probably. Oh, there's a toolbox there. That seems like a place you'd keep a screwdriver. Or uh, a Gerber of some sort. That'd be good. Multi tool. That should be handy. Yeah. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Now I need to get Andy out of the barn, I think. Does it work if I stop the generator? Now I'm probably gonna, I guess I gotta tell him something's wrong with it. Ah. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Hmm. Feel like I gotta find a better way to sabotage it. But how? Do I want to talk to him? Yeah, let's do it. Hello. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? That's what I've been Used saying. Have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. That was there was something creepy about the way you said that. Yeah, let's go look at the electric fence. Maybe it'll give me another option. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Okay, not what I was expecting him to say. I feel like I gotta do something to this, though. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. No other buttons, just the on off. Oh, panel. Access. That'll do. There you go. Ow, damn it. Okay, <laughs> it's moving fast. Yeah, let's power it down first. There, that should do it. Not gonna notice the belt's missing. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing 
threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Good, because I'm going in. God, Lee, you walk slow. Okay, now's my chance. Dinner bell figures. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay, let's do this. Things are getting tense. How long before they notice I'm gone? Oh, not that one. Screws holding it to the door. I see that. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. I know, I got a multi-tool. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Uh oh. What's that face for? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, they set the bear traps. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, nothing to worry about. Sure. Whoa, that was weird. Did you see Lee bounce back like that? Excuse a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Yeah, just let him rest. I'll wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Uh, down the hall, right? This must be Terry. Is it this way? Ah. <laughs> bottle, bottle. Grass Yeah. Whatever. Do I gotta wash my hands? Oh, that's what she said to do. Am I going upstairs then? Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Hmm. I guess I'm sneaking around some more. Where's that wire going? Huh, where is that cord going? Yeah, really. Trash, medical, towel. Don't think I need morphine. Do they need so much morphine for? What happens if I do this? What 
the hell? Ah, it goes through the wall. Hmm, I guess I gotta go through that bedroom there. Ah, there's something behind this bookshelf. Is that blood? Can I at least shut the door behind me? No one hears a bookshelf sliding around. So that's what happened to Mark. Mark. They took his legs. They took his legs. Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Oh no, they're eating him. Clementine. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Don't eat that! What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Oh. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Hmm. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Hmm. How do we get out of this? Fucking what? Put your guns down! We're walking out of here! Don't go near my fucking family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Oh, you've done it now. I'll kill you! Is he a zombie now? Please. Someone. Come oh. on. Uh oh. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here. Open up! I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bang. bare hands. We gotta find another way out of here. <laughs> Yo, shit, uh, fucking bastards! Uh, Open this door, goddammit! Uh, I will knock the me, goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Oh, shut Now's up. not the time. You okay, Clementine? They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, 
Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Yeah. You're, you're worse than the walk. Dad, please. Okay, now what am I doing in here? Let's talk to Clem. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please okay. settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and make you swallow them! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? Huh. No such luck. Nope. Come on! Try yourself! Uh. Dad! It got caught you in duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Yeah. There's marvelous on the way! Let us out now! Hmm. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh-oh. Dad? Uh-oh. He's gonna turn in here, isn't he? No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! It has to happen, Lee. Think about it. No. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Yeah. Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God mm. damn it, Lee, I need you! This is Please a tough help one. help me! Come on, Dad. Ah, uh, two Come ways. on. Wake up. I don't like Wake him, but up. I don't think I should let him die either. Lee! Is he I'm sorry, Kenny. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Uh-oh. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at Three. risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking uh -oh, Kenny. Oh, fuck. No! Uh... Kenny, I'm sorry. what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? I don't think so. Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Yeah, like what? Let's uh, say you're like walking your talking. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I think so. I'm working on it. Bet you it's that AC. I'm not even gonna talk to anyone. I'm just gonna go check this AC out. Yeah, let's there see. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Yeah, I got that multi-tool. Multi-tool. Yeah. Of course they took it. Shit. Oh. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. -uh. If 
we can remove these screws, the AC yeah. should come down easily. Okay. I can't do it with my hands. No. It's not coming off that way. Okay, I need something. Okay, what else is in here? Anything? I'm sorry. Does Lily have something? She probably doesn't want to talk. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I know. There's nothing to be said. He'll okay. learn. Wait till it happens to him. Whoa. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? No, to save our lives, you tool. Do what you have to do. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Just keep showing it. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Just try one. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Okay, now let's get this. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Yeah. Hey, it's working. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all Whoa. day here. Don't see you doing anything. And for all he knows, we could have all day. Well, there's our way out, Lee. like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Now you can do it again. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Well, Kenny! Group's falling Kenny, apart. I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. We're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Maybe, yeah. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. To be continued. Well, that was an intense episode with uh, cannibal farmers and... Mark being found with his legs off. Speaking of, I still don't really know what happened to Mark. We saw him crawl out. Did they finish him off or what? I don't know. Maybe in the next episode we'll find out. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. So if you want to see how episode two to concludes, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so that you get notifications when the next episode comes out. Thank you and take care, everyone.